Howdy, and welcome to another episode of Piano TV. So today's video is just going to be a quick one to talk about some Italian terms that you might have come across at some point or other. That is ritardando, and it's sometimes counterpart at tempo. When you see the word ritardando in music, it might be written in full or abbreviated like this rit, and what it means is to slow down gradually. So when you think about doing this, think about driving a car. So hopefully, hopefully when you drive, and if you don't drive a car, think about riding a bike, because it's the same idea. But when you see a stop sign, you don't just hammer on the brakes if you can help it, right? You gently come to a nice stop. And the same idea is true with ritardando. When you see the word appear, you start kind of like coasting to a break, as opposed to just like, as soon as you see the word, just like hitting that break and that break in piano being the tempo, the speed. So I'm going to play a piece of music with our ritardato at the end. So you can kind of hear what I'm talking about here. So it's really common and tempting to screech on the brakes and go from slow to fast. So maybe you start like this. So at like some point it's just like your your car is hitting the brakes and there's no gradual transition. But it's really important with the ritardando to make it as gradual as possible. So as soon as you see the word rit or ritardando on the page, that's when you begin your slowdown little by little. And how dramatic of a slowdown you do depends on the piece and sometimes your personal preference. Sometimes you'll be given more specific direction, like with molto rit which is molto is, is very. So when you see something like this, you're going to be like doing a super dramatic slowdown. Whereas something like this, sorry, I had to improvise this a bit. But if you see poco rit or poco ritardando, it's just like a little ritardando, which is just like, just like a little, a little pinch of slowdown. The other term I want to talk about today is a tempo, which is almost always associated with ritardando. So what this means is the original tempo or speed. So Whatever tempo you were playing before you started slowing down, you resume when you see a tempo. So I'm gonna do a ritardando again, same song, and then an a tempo afterwards. So you can hear how it bounces back to an original tempo. That's all there is to it. Ritardando serve a really nice musical function, and for the most part, you'll see them at the end of songs to kind of signal. It's just a very common thing to do at the end of a song to like crawl to a stop, but you might see it at the end of a section, or I mean, depending on the composer, it could just be like sprinkled in at random for a dramatic effect. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, you can visit pianotv.net for all of the updates and subscribe to this channel as well. Take care and peace out. Shampoo commercial. Oh, that made me dizzy. Whoa.